Hello today and today we're gonna have a game of it's the fuck up on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum it's the knockout well it's been a complete fuck up when I've reviewed it on the CPC and Commodore 64 it hasn't been a very good game so I'm not expecting it to be very good on the Spectrum can I be proved wrong I doubt it push a key right so number of players one Pick a country, Britain 1. Right, so we're up against five other, other countries. So this is based on the television program that came out in the 60s, they had it till the 80s. Um, all I remembered, it was hosted by Stuart Hall. Right, Britain to play. So flying flans. Right, okay, so we got a collect. See if we can get the flans. And it's got slow down like the CPC version. Oh, got one. Yeah, so so far I'm not very... Well, I'm not. It's, it's, it's shit. <laughs> Basically, it, it, it's, it's no different from the other two versions, to be honest with you. Oh, got another one. So you get a time to get as many flans as you can. Because you are against the other five nations. Um, this is an Ocean release. This come out by Ocean. You got to remember, Ocean got licenses for all like the major like films of the eighties, and they get the license for this shit. <laughs> oh dear! Why did Ocean get the license for it's the knockout? Oh dear. And it's not even programmed well as well. You know, it wasn't programmed well on any of the systems. The, the Commodore 64 version was just fast. The, this version is like the CPC version. It just has slowdown and inconsistent controls and I think they might be slipping on the flans here that have been on the floor I couldn't work that out in the CPC version but yeah they're not sometimes they don't respond very well to controls it's, it just has slow down and affects the controls oh, fucking hell I think I was in the right position there so that's I think there's six events in total Right, Germany to play. So you don't see the other nations play. You just see them get a score. So you basically just imagine them playing. Right. Italy won that event. Right, what we're playing? Bronte Bash. Right, so this is where we... In control of a weight... So we got a basically, I mean we've seen the, this in arcades haven't we, something like this where you get a little hammer and you got to go around bashing the things that pop up. Oh, got that one just in time. And that one. Yeah, so I think this cost originally on the Spectrum probably 8 quid. So this would have been a full price title. Oh, how was I going to get that? Well, you know, this is a budget game at best. Oh, fuck off. How the fuck am I supposed to get that there? Look! How the fuck? I can't react quick enough to that. How the fuck am I supposed to react quick enough to that? That's ridiculous. Yeah, right. How the hell am I supposed to react quick enough? I'm supposed to anticipate it. Right. 16 scored. 
Harlem Hoppers. Right. Trying to film. What's Harlem Hoppers? What's that event in the other versions? Yes. So I'm on a tether and I've got to cl click the, these balls. Not the camel's balls. <laughs> Which I'm failing miserably. Oh. Because I am on a tether and that tether will pull me, keep pulling me back. I still can't get any. Oh. Am I going to get one? No. Oh. oh fuck it. Oh, went through my fucking hands. Oh, got one, got one, got one. I nope, didn't get that one. Oh, fuck it. Oh, got another one, got another one. Okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, got another one, okay. Ah, oh, shit, it's pulling me back. <sighs> Bollocks. Oh, it keeps pulling me back. It's, fuck off, it's not... Right, maybe it got to wait. I'm going to run out of time. Now I've run out of time. Harlem Hoppers. Why is it called Harlem Hoppers if we're in the fucking desert? It's not exactly Harlem in New York, is it? I don't know. <laughs> right, Belgium. Holland won that event. Okay. Bronte Bash, well we've already done that, so we've got to wait for the computer. You can't skip this, you've got to... Ah, Titanic drop. I know what this is. Right, so this is where we have to jump through hoops by sliding down a rope. Right, Britain to play. Here we go. Oh, got. Oh, right. So you push up, then you push down. So to go, you got to push up, then you push down. Okay. How the fuck is this worth ten? Well, eight quid. Yeah, because Spectrum games are always a pound cheaper for some reason than the CPC and Commodore 64 versions. Don't know why that was. Especially when the fucking CPC, ver CPC games get Spectrum port and they charge a pound more. But the, um, the CPC version of this wasn't a port of the Spectrum. It had colourful graphics, but it was still shit. Yes, no, it, it, even this version is not very good to be honest with you. Uh, right, so we did shit again. See, why do I need to watch this? You don't need to watch this. It's, this is just a waste of time. Why can't I skip this and, you know, just push a button and you can see all the figures come up. Bri oh, we won! I won something! I fucking won something. Amazing. Diet of worms. Oh, right. Yeah, I know what this is. Got to go around picking up the words by... I think you were dressed up in a chicken or something. Right. Here we go. So we're the yellow one. So push your fire button. Take it back to the tray. Then you do this all over again. And I think you got... You basically... Up against an opponent, opponent, but I don't know if this might be just a computer that you play. I don't know if you're playing any of the nations. I don't know. All oh, right, can I pick up more than one? I always thought you can only pick up one at a time. So the computer's not taking it back to. The, I think the what the computer's doing. No, it is taking it back to the tray, isn't it?
No, because I can only pick up one. I think. Can I pick up more? I'm trying. I don't think you can. I mean, what the can... No, I can only pick up one at a time. Right, diet of works. Britain scored eight. Yeah, it's not very good to play, to be honest with you. I'm not enjoying it. Even if I was playing more players, I doubt very much. I think you can play, you might play up to six players. Because it's one one person at a time playing, so I don't see why you can't play up to six players. Germany has won that event. Right, so back to Bronte Bash. Obstacle race. Now, this is where you have to waggle your joystick. Right. Right, Britain to play. Okay. Yeah, I've got the wrong joystick for this. I mean, even still, there are better games than this. Where you can waggle your joystick like Daily Thompson's Decathlon. Uh, Decathlon is. I oh know there's loads of others. I mean, this is this is a lot of money for what it is. You're getting basically six mini games. Oh, I don't like this. You're getting six mini games, and they're all shit basically. Now this, there's no, there's no um, end to this. You just got to wait for the timer to run out. That's it. You got to wait for the timer, and it's looping, and you can see it's all looping over. So no, not much thought has gone into this game. So basically, it's just, it's, it's seeing how far you can get within the time limit. That's it. Obviously, the further you get, the more points you're awarded. So, if I've gone distance eight, I'll get eight points. I think that's how it works. I push fucking jump then. Oh, this fucking. I know it's got three figures there, so I've only got 11. I don't know if you can get into the three figures. If you can, you must be fucking good. I think that's it. That's all the events I've played now. Now it's just a matter of who's going to win the event, who's going to win the overall game. And you've got to sit through this. All right, first place has been drawn. Right. Bronte Bash. Britain has won the marathon. Marathon? France has won the competition. Right, okay. So France won. Italy comes second. Germany come third. But Britain come fourth. I didn't come last. So I did better in this version and I, than I did in the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad CPC versions because both of those are versions I came last. And Belgium and Holland tied for 5th and 6th. Okay. Well, at least I did better in Belgium and Holland then. <laughs> but the game... Yeah, it's not very good to be honest with you. It's not very good. Graphics look a bit crap. It's an 86 game. Um, but Ocean could have got a bet. Why did Ocean get the license for this? I don't know. If they did, why couldn't they made it better? You know, you associate Ocean be coming out with good arcade games and good time film time, but it's an early Ocean game, so 
It's still shit though. It ain't very good to play. So I'm, I'm still staying there. It, 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 it's more of a budget title, this game. Something that um, alternative software or high-tech software would have made, but Ocean Software? Mm, yeah, it's a bit of a dis disappointment, this game. I didn't mind a television program when I was a kid, but yeah, I, it's not a very good game. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.